Hi, welcome to Windy Hill. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, uh, say hello and uh, put a put a face with the with the farm. Uh, I'm in the greenhouse now, uh, just uh, kind of looking over the plants, uh, making sure everybody's got enough water uh, for the day. Uh, I thought I might uh, show you around the farm a little bit, uh, so let's uh, let's take a quick tour. Uh, Windy Hill is organic. Um, it's all uh, uh, drip irrigated, uh, which uh, kind of it's one of those things that evolved uh, with me uh, from the small garden to the large garden, um, being able to uh, water everything efficiently and uh, and save on water. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I did a lot of flooding. I did a lot of sprinklers. Uh, and uh, drip irrigation uh, seems to be the uh, the best way for me to farm. May not be may not be for everybody else, uh, but for me, uh, drip irrigation uh, has paid off tremendously. Uh, just as far as uh, as far as water savings and uh, and uh, being able to uh, water the plants more efficiently. So let's look around the farm and uh, see what we have. Here's the beginnings of the irrigation system, and this is this is new this year. Uh, although I've collected the parts over a couple of years, uh, it's the first time I've ever automated it, uh, and it seems to be working out really well so far. Uh, just a simple uh, Rainbird six station uh, timer. Here we have some uh, broccoli, uh, something else I've never been really good at, uh, I, although I try every year. Uh, maybe I'll uh, I'll get good at it one t one year and uh, plant a plant a whole bunch of it. The lettuce. This is my uh, second uh, actual year of growing lettuce. Uh, this is butter crunch. Uh, it seems to be doing really well. Uh, I also grow a, a different kind. It's not not quite up yet as the butter crunch. I started it quite a bit earlier, and uh, so I've done uh, got got quite quite a nice few uh, heads of lettuce. And <clears throat> here we have spinach, uh, and this is all this is all in the greenhouse. Um, it's just been the weather's been so crazy uh, it's really kind of hard to do anything outside yet some carrots uh, my first time ever in my entire life uh, to try and grow carrots and be this successful uh, we'll see how this works out uh, I've got uh, quite a few in here uh, in this raised bed, I, I went to great lengths to uh, make sure there were no, or not a whole lot of rocks and things like that. There are a few rocks that have surfaced, but, uh, and uh, need to get in there and do a little weeding today. But uh, we'll, we'll come back to this and maybe give you an update of how that works out. These are radishes. I uh, started them early in the greenhouse just so I could get some early. Uh, these are really good uh, radishes. Uh, I'd have to look up the name. I'll put it maybe in the video when I edit it uh, so you'll know what they are. They're really sweet. Uh, they don't have that uh, oh, uh, kind of hot taste to them. So really, really good radishes. Uh, so I, I'm looking forward to that in my salad. And here are my seedlings. Uh, these are uh, jalapenos, uh, some eggplant, uh, bell peppers uh, in this group here. Uh, over in the uh, farther one over there, we are uh, got more bell peppers, uh, beefsteak tomatoes, Rutgers tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. And yeah, I can't wait to get them in the garden going to be really nice to uh, see these plants mature along with the little habaneros there. 
Here we have my watch turkeys. They uh, they keep keep uh, keep everybody safe here on the farm. My my two guard dogs, so to speak. Here I'm standing just about in the middle of the uh, the field where we'll be planting corn. Quite a few other things. Through with the, uh, I've got, uh, I've plowed up now. I've uh, come back through with the uh, tiller, till it flat, smooth, rake it down, uh, and it'll be ready to plant here in uh, a week or so. I think. Uh, I think we'll just about uh, have passed all the uh, cold weather that's going to be here. Uh, Easter will tell. That's usually our last freeze date. A uh, little bit intimidating sitting out here uh, knowing I'm going to have to keep the weeds down on all this. But it usually, it usually works out okay. Uh, I enjoy it. I, I also have a, a, a real job. Uh, I'd like to make this my full-time job. Uh, I, I tell everybody that I I work harder out here than I do at work, but I'm always less tired uh, after working in the, on the farm. Uh, I guess it's just something I enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, it was a short one. Uh, we'll do it again sometime. Uh, enjoy the day.